is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to my Tobias Harris Philadelphia 76ers rebuild. So the trade didn't go down in 2K yet, yet, so I'm going to be making it here. I wonder if they actually accept this if I offered it straight up. They do not, so I have to put on trade override to accept that trade. So this trade went down at like 2 a.m. last night. Uh, the Philadelphia 76ers acquired Tobias Harris. I made a whole video about it, talking my opinions on the trade. I uploaded it earlier today, so I'd appreciate it if you go take a look at that. I try to upload more NBA-style content where I talk more about the NBA and not just play 2K. So I'd appreciate it if you guys show those videos support so I can just keep on doing them and have the motivation to keep on doing them. So, right before the trade deadline, two days before the 76ers ended a bona fide. He, he wasn't an all-star this year. But he's basically an all-star player. He probably would have been an all-star in the Eastern Conference if the Clippers were just like in the position. But uh, he's really good. We'll just leave it at that. I will have my post-Tobias Clippers rebuild out tomorrow probably. Uh, bearing if another trade happens. Like say Marcus all goes to the Grizzlies. Maybe you'll see that Clippers rebuild on Thursday or Friday. And I'll just want to push out like a Gasol Cordits rebuild. Or did I say Grizzlies? Or a Conley Jazz rebuild. You know what I mean. So I'm really excited to use this team. I'll talk about probably the side of the 76ers as the video goes on so we're gonna have Simmons we are gonna start JJ at the two Butler Harris would be perfect uh so the bench is at the okay so what's actually good about this is I'm gonna like okay hold on uh Fultz in real life doesn't have a lot of trade value at all but in this game he does so I'm gonna send Fultz it's Zare Smith. I, I don't really know. It's probably Zare. Uh, I don't know. I definitely butcher it. So I'm going to... Wait, what? You can only have 15 players. So why can't I send Smith to the G League? Okay, let's release this Shake Melty guy. And let's release this guy. Okay. Uh, let's call this guy out from the G League. And then let's send Smith down. There we go. Okay. So, those guys will develop and their trade value will either go up in the offseason, aka for faults. I'll probably keep Smith as a bench guy. So, you know, I'm going to add either a shooting guard or a small forward through faults to make this starting five, like, literally OP. So, uh, this is going to be it. But, oh, God, the bench isn't the best. I'll leave it at that. I know Joe, Jonah Bolden's playing pretty well for the Sixers in real life. So, our best player is Marjanovic. Okay, so we're going to go 15, 17, 20, 22. 35, 35, 35, 28. Uh, okay, so we'll go 34, 34, and then 35. So that'll be it for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and hopefully the Sixers team can win it all. And if not, I don't know. We'll do something in the offseason. All right, so this team goes 52 and 30. James Harden wins MVP. So this was an all-in year for Elton Brand, his first year after the Colangelo thing as the Sixers. I think he's the GM. He's not like the president. He's like the actual GM. And he traded for Jimmy Ball at the beginning of the year, gave up Roko and Sarge, and just traded for Tobias Harris, and gave up two firsts, two seconds, and Landry Schmidt. It's not like Landry Schmidt is like a young ass, not like a, I don't know, like people getting thrown in like a Kevin Knox or Dennis Smith. He's not like as good as them, but he's still a pretty good young player who could really shoot. Um, it's going to hurt the Sixers bench a little bit, but adding Tobias Harris is huge for them. And I'm sure they're going to go after Wesley Matthews, or maybe Ennis Canner, or something like that. After these guys get bought out after the deadline, because I doubt the Knicks are going to find any suitors for those two guys. So I could see the Sixers going after Wesley Matthews. I think that'd be a really good addition to them. So Joel, I didn't even talk about this. Joel Embiid was, or Ben Simmons was on me a second team, which is amazing. Um, Embiid was on me a third team. Uh, Butler, all defensive first team, and no Embiid on all defensive team. Okay. Um, and we're not going to have any rookies because Smith obviously was hurt and was in the G League. So Fultz. This is going to be really nice to trade in the offseason. He's probably going to have like three stars trade value. So we ended up as the fifth seed. Really? The Pacers? Shout out to... Oh, because injuries aren't on. So Old Depot. Okay. I was like, what? But that makes sense. So we're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks in round one. Now, if the Sixers lose in round one, which I don't think they'll be the fourth seed. I think they'll be the three seed. And they'll probably get Brooklyn in round one. And I think they'll be fine against Brooklyn. But I could see them honestly... Uh, if say they lose in the second round to so say like the Bucks or the Raptors and maybe Jimmy's like screw this I didn't get my touches in the playoffs. I want out. He leaves Honestly, if I'm the Sixers, I'm gonna choose. I think Tobias Harris fits this team better than a Butler Obviously Butler's defensive presence is huge when they got to go up against guys like Giannis um, and Kyrie Irving and uh, Kawhi Leonard in the playoffs, but Ben Simmons is turning himself into a weak defender Anyways, so it's not really update but yeah obviously in a perfect world Elton Brand's able to bring both these guys back but say they lose in the second round 
I don't know, and Tobias wants to go to play with the Nets where he's from in Long Island, um, or close to where he's from, and Jimmy Butler's like, screw this, I'm not going to get my touches, I want to go to LA, or I want to go to New York, or I want to go to Dallas, I don't know, just some random team, uh, as we beat the Bucks in seven, cool. But, yeah, there's a chance that can happen. Both of them leave. There's a chance one of them can leave. I think if one of them left, it would be Jimmy Baller over Tobias. And I think Tobias is probably going to really like Philly. And this is the closest he's ever been to home, too, because he's played for Orlando. He's played for, uh, I think it was drafted by Charlotte, but he didn't play a game for Charlotte. But he played for Orlando. He played for Milwaukee. played for Detroit. Uh, and played for L.A. So, this is probably the closest he's been to home. So, maybe he's really going to like uh, Philly and he'll stay. But if they re-sign Butler and Harris, and then they're probably going to have to sign Ben Simmons. Wow, we made it to the finals. Uh, if they're going to probably have to sign Ben Simmons at the start of next season anyway, and his rookie max, they're going to literally have like four mil to play with. Um, and I can see them definitely moving on from Fultz after that. And wow, we win it all. Okay, so this trade put them over the top, which is actually cool to see. This happening in 2K. I actually think like this team, um, if, with these five... Could make the Warriors, like, starting... Like, this is a really good matchup for the starting five for the Warriors. Because you have three great defenders. And Embiid, you put Embiid on Cousins. You have Tobias Harris on Draymond. It's not like Draymond's a big offensive threat. Anyway, you have Butler on, I guess, Clay, Or you could have Redick on Clay, Butler on Curry, and Simmons on KD. Or you can vice versa these two. But that's still a really good... I think that's, honestly, the best matchup the Warriors can have. I think that's the team that can put up the best fight against the Warriors. I think they're... That's a better fight than, yeah, I think they're the best team, soundly, in the Eastern Conference. At least based off their starting five. Obviously, their bench is not good. The Raptors have a better bench, and the Celtics have a better bench. But that's a damn good starting five, and I think Philly could definitely make the finals now. I honestly thought there was no way they'd make it to even the conference finals. I thought Boston, uh, Milwaukee, and Toronto were all definitely better. But now I think the Sixers could definitely make it to the NBA Finals. So props to Elton Brand for that. And if they do make it to the... Say they do make it to the Finals and say Butler weaves, but they keep Tobias. That's still a W season for him. Because uh, you made it to the Finals. I mean, that's the goal. Obviously, the goal is to win it. But when you have the Warriors, it's kind of rough. So I guess I can't really fire Brett Brown. Even though I think he's a very overrated coach in the league. He just brought us to the Finals. But uh, yeah, I think Brett Brown is pretty overrated. Actually, I'm going to fire Brett Brown. Screw you. Um, I'm going to hire Jacob Underwood. And we signed him. So, yeah, I do, I'm do. i not a fan of Brett Brown as a coach at all. All right, so Fultz has a $9 million contract currently. Wait, Smith didn't go up in overall? He's a 74? Damn. Okay, so what happens if I move Fultz and... Oh, wait, I got to turn this stuff here off. Hold on. Okay, so we can get Zach Levine. We can get Kevin Love, Shai Gilgis, Mike Conley. So we can definitely add, like, a shooting guard or small forward into the starting five. Buddy Heald. That's an interesting guard. But I don't know if I need, like, a true shooter. What are the odds? Can I take on a lot of... Okay, I gotta do this trade. I was like about to say, I was actually thinking of Old Depot. Okay, we're gonna do this trade. We're gonna have to throw in a future first, but screw it. Uh, we just picked up Victor Old Depot. We better have enough money. I'm not gonna sign Ben Simmons yet, obviously. All right, so do we have... We have a, a couple seconds. Could those give me a first? So say I traded these four seconds. Uh, we'll trade five seconds and uh, Doug McDermott, who we just picked up. If I can find... Wait, where the hell is Doug McDermott? Uh... There he is. Okay. So, could this get me, like, the 10th pick in the draft? Or can we get 8? No way. Yeah, okay. Wow. That is not a lot of assets at all. Uh, could that give me, like... That can give me 10. Actually, it just got me 10. Alright, I'll see you guys at rookie signing. Alright, so with the 10th pick, I did add Seku Dubia, who I don't normally draft. So, him and Zaire Smith are going to be coming off the bench immediately. Uh, I would like to bring back TJ McConnell, so he'll come off the bench. And maybe if I can bring back Redick. But my main priority is to bring back Tobias Harris and Jimmy Butler. So... Uh, we're going to have to offer those two deals. So, Jimmy Butler, let's offer... Okay, we can afford both. So, let's offer Jimmy Butler a lot of money. He better come back on that. Bro, you're going to join Orlando? Okay. And now I have to offer goddamn Tobias Harris a lot of money because I'm going to lose out on Jimmy Butler. Uh, okay, I'm not going to... I'm not going to read out some rates on Jimmy at all. Uh, we're just going to read out it on these guys. Because Jimmy could appear again. Why would he accept the goddamn magic offer over mine? I wonder what he even... Damn, I should have gave him more money, I guess. I'm stupid. All right, so he signs with the Magic. Uh, let's bring back TJ. We don't even have burn rights on Redick, so I'm just going to renounce rights on him. So I don't want to renounce it on Jimmy in case he pops up again. Uh, because I'd really be mad if that happened. So uh, let me not renounce rights on Jimmy Butler. And he did not pop up, so we lose Jimmy Butler. God damn it, yo. I would have could have built such a cool team of Ben Simmons, Old Depot, Butler, Harris, and Bede. Alright, well, Old Depot's just gonna replace Jimmy, I guess. Damn, I'm disappointed. 
What can I get for Jonah Bolden in like two seconds? Because we have so many seconds. Jesus. Uh, Thought Maker. Uh, I thought that was Thought Maker. That was Tony Style. Jeez. Uh, John Henson. Interesting. I need like a backup to go. I need a starting small forward, honestly, at this point. Uh, Courtney Lee's kind of interesting as a vet. Uh, I might pick up Courtney Lee, actually. Ooh, I saw Roberson. Uh, you know, I'll pick up Roberson, move him to small forward. Uh, so currently, I want a backup. I need a backup setter. Uh, could I trade? Oh, I forgot I had Sarah Smith. Um, what could I get for Smith and two first? Like, I'm literally trading every pick this team owns. Uh, I'm just curious to see. Marcus Smart. That's not bad. I would need really a small forward or a point guard to make our starting lineup work. I guess Dubia could start at small forward. Actually, yeah. You know, we could start Dubia. Uh, okay. So, I think I just need a backup center. Let me just, let me just double check this team. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let me get a backup center and then I'll start the next year's season. Damn, I'm really upset Jimmy left us because this starting five would have been OP. It would have... Damn it, I'm so mad. Why would he leave us? All right, so we send Smith to a top potential, and we'll send Dubia. Oh, I don't know. I, I guess I should have gave him more money. Oh, well. So maybe just as a hypothetical that he leaves in the summer anyway. But all right, so we're rating champs. Let's try to go back to back, obviously. Ooh, we could start Roberson. Yeah, you know what? I am going to start Roberson because is Dubia like a solid scorer? Because we know Roberson is not a good offensive player. Uh, he's all right. So he'll run this the second unit, I guess. Uh, I did say Kyle Quinn as my backup center. So we're gonna give 15 to McConnell, 15 there, uh, 15 there. So we're gonna be playing. I feel like I just don't have that many minutes to use. Okay. So we're gonna go 35, 35. We'll go 28, 35, 36, and then we'll go 36. Okay. So we're gonna go 36 of those two. And then I'll give two more to Smith. Why not? So, yeah, that'll be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and hopefully we can repeat. So, we end the season, and Giannis uh, wins MVP again. We go 57-25, and 25, so that's actually five more wins this year than last year. We don't get Coach of the Year, but, hey, we won it all with 52 wins last year, so I'm okay with 57. Zion already will be first team in New York. I hope that happens in real life. But the Knicks are going to end up with, like, Cameron Rand. should pick four. So, uh, wait, yeah, Embiid will be second team. And he's our only all second team of, uh, appearance, but we do get Ben Simmons on the all third team. Okay. Uh, there's Jimmy Bauer on the Magic. Okay. I wonder if they made the playoffs. There's Oladipo, though, on all defensive second team, so I'll take that. Uh, we did get Seiku on all rookie second team. So the Magic were the sixth seed. I hope we face you, Jimmy, so we can knock you out of the playoffs. Uh, we are taking on the Indiana Pacers in round one. The, uh, they signed KD, but they lost Oladipo to that terrible trade we gave them. For Fultz. I mean, Fultz wasn't terrible, but not all Depot worth. But they do have Kevin Durant, which is interesting why Kevin Durant would even want to join them. So, Old Depot had 21 points a game. Simmons about eight, uh, almost 19. Also, over 9 rebounds and 8 assists. Tobias, 17 and 5 and a half. There's Seku's numbers. McConnell, O'Quinn, and Smith. And Roberson had a whopping 3. Okay, the bench really wasn't that good at all. Okay. Actually, Doobie had 11 off the bench, so I'll take it. Points per game. We were 8th allowed. We were... First, fifth, fourth and point differential. Yeah, Robertson averaged three points being in the starting lineup, playing almost 30 minutes a night. So I'm kind of glad I didn't make him run the bench unit. That would have been a bad idea. So we're up 31 on the Pacers, and we win in five. Now we're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. The Magic loss to the Cavs in seven. Can we beat? Oh, no, no. We're taking on the Celtics, excuse me. And we're down 3 0. Maybe it should have fired Brett Brown. All right, well, that was a little disappointing. I was hoping we would go back, and the Warriors didn't even make it out of the first round. So we're going to do one more year. I'm going to try my best, obviously, to win it all. And, yeah, I'll see what I can do in the offseason to, you know, do that. I'm probably going to try to upgrade our bench, be, be find a better small forward. Oh, we're going to have to pay Ben Simmons a lot of money in a couple minutes from now. We don't have any picks. So, yeah, we're in a kind of a hard situation here to upgrade our team. So let's go to the NBA draft. Um, maybe we can move Zaire, Smith, ZS, uh, he's not even under contract, great. Like, what can I get from McConnell and, like, O'Quinn? I'm just hypothetically throwing these guys up on the market. Uh, we will. Jabari Parker. Not be a bad idea to run the bench, but I'll pass, I think. Ah, uh, Roko. I'm gonna try to maybe move. Oh, no, Roberson's a free agent too, I guess. Like, what can I get for Oladipo? If I can get, like two studs for old depot i would accept it <laughs> yeah should i do this trade uh no no 
Okay, maybe I'm not gonna find a cool trade. Uh, Drew Holiday Bassy. That's not terrible, but I don't think I want to do that. All right, so you know what? We're not gonna move them. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna move them on Depot. So let's go past the NBA draft to T-Player options. Let's bring back everybody we can. So let's just Smith. So I know Ben Simmons is a free agent, so we're gonna have to obviously pay him a lot of money because the team is gonna throw a lot of money at him. So I might as well just throw money at him. Robertson's also a free agent, and I do want to sign him. So I'm gonna sign him and then match Ben Simmons' deal. Uh, no, it's not read out the rights on Ben Simmons. Uh, but we can read out rights on everybody else. So we're gonna sign Roberson. I think I might try to trade him for Rocco, uh, just because he's just better offensively. So Simmons accepts an offer from the Grizzlies. Interesting. What? Okay. I just matched that. So if they screw me over here and I don't get Ben Simmons, I'm literally, I'm literally matching it. Okay. If I don't have Ben Simmons on my team, I'm gonna be okay. No, we do. I was just like, what? Um. So can I move Roberson? For Robert Covington, I think I want to do that because I saw. I think I can get offered it too. Uh, of course, the Timberwolves don't offer me anything. Why? Ooh, John, did I just see Josh Jackson? Did I just see. I would not mind some Josh Jackson. Uh, yeah, let me get Josh Jackson. I'll give him the starting. Put him in the starting lineup. I never use Josh Jackson, so I'm kind of interested to see how he does. So let me see the bench again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could probably move O'Quinn for a better backup center. Or should I move Smith uh, and Davis? And Davis is probably better. Um, Mo Wagner. Okay, what about if we move Smith for just a better scorer off the bench uh, to help out with uh, Seku? Because I'm going to start Josh Jackson over Seku. We could pick up Jordan Corkson. That's not a terrible option. Frank Nilakina. Yeah, I need offense. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to pick up... Ooh, Ferguson's also an interesting piece. He sucks in 2K. So I'm going to pick up... Jordan Clarkson and and the exception and I think we're ready for the third and possible final season. I kind of regret not playing in the finals in year one because that might be the last time I get there. Honestly, I should have played. I didn't realize we were going to win it. I, it just happened so quickly. So I think we can go back with this team. It's still really good. I think last year could have been a fluke, but obviously having Jimmy Butler would have been nice. Oh my God, the team that could have been. All right, so we're going to go 35, 35, 35, 30. Okay. Uh, 23, 20, 15, no, George Hill, you're not getting minutes. Uh, Kyle Quinn, he's down to a 72. All right, bro, you're going to get like 12 minutes tonight then. And then we'll go 30, and then we'll go 35. All right, so that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and hopefully we can go back to the finals. Okay, maybe I'm missing Jimmy Butler a lot, because we are just going to barely hit 50 wins this year. We didn't hit 60 wins once. I mean, we did win 57 last year, which was a five-game increase from two years ago of a 52-win season. But we just win 50 games this year, and that's it. Uh, we beat the Magic by two. James Harden's your MVP. Maybe I shouldn't have fired Brett Brown. Maybe I really shouldn't have fired him. Hey, Dennis Smith Jr. most improved. Uh, cool. Um, Brett Brown coach of the year for the Rockets. Oh, God. Sixers fans are probably hitting me in the comment section for that. Uh, all right. So we hit nobody on the first two teams. Third team. We got nobody. Oh, my God. This team's a mess. We get Old Depot and all defensive first team. And we're going to have no rookies. Oh, this team's a three seed in the Eastern Conference. All right. We're taking on the Hawks in round one. Trey Young, K, uh, Kelton Johnson from Kentucky, Alfonso McKinney. John Collins and Butchevich. Okay. I'd rather see Collins and Wiseman, but whatever. Player stats for us. MB 19 and 10. Old Depot 18. About 4.8 rebounds. Simmons 15, 8 and 7. Harris 15. Okay. Everything's going down. I don't like it. Uh, points per game. We were. Oh, God. Oh, God. How were we 23rd? And a lot of points per game. We were first. Damn, so our defense is still legit. Our offense sucked this year. It's got to be our bench. It's got to be our bench, honestly. Oh, God, we're down 2-1. to one. Are you kidding me? 3-2, to two, please come back. Game 7, please win it. I have my eyes closed. Tell me we won. What? What? Are you kidding me? This is literally the weirdest rebuild I've ever done. I literally won it all in year one doing nothing, though. And we couldn't make it out of round two. We made it to round two last year, lost. And we lose in seven to the Hawks this year. Okay. Oladipo getting traded. Tobias Harris. You, I can't trade you. You're the title of the thumbnail. But I got to redo this whole bench. We have no pit. Oh, my God. I put ourselves in such a bad spot. I just, Jimmy Palmer cursed us. I need Jimmy back. All right, Jeff Lottery, we're going to have no picks. Our first goes to the Pacers at 24 from the old Depot move. Uh, can I fire you? Please tell me I can afford you. 
Uh, please tell me. Please accept that, Nick Nurse. Please. If not, we'll see what happens. I'll take, like, Benjamin Walker. Uh, yes, we get Nick Nurse. Okay. That's a lot better coach than Jacob Underwood, I guess. I had a fire Jacob Underwood. Uh, so let's go to the draft. Clarkson. Why could he do... Okay. I'm not going to make a move on draft night, so let's go to team player options. I don't know if how many free agents we're going to have on our own, so we're going to bring back Dubia. Could trade him. Uh, let's see here. Qualifying offers. Josh Jackson. Probably a sign and trade, I think. That might happen. So, okay. We have a lot of free agents. So let's offer Oladipo a max. Could trade Oladipo. I don't know. Uh, let's offer TJ something because I could trade him. And then Josh Jackson, we can offer 23 mil. I'll match up with other deals. So, we get all three. That's hype. Yeah, screw you, Kyle Quinn. You're gone. Uh, so we have negative, it says negative 112 mil at the top. I don't think it's that low. I think we're probably at like a negative, I don't know, uh, 64. That sounds better. Actually, no, we're at like, that's about what, 20 mil. So we're at like a negative 40 mil. So I do want to move Josh Jackson. What can I get for Josh Jackson in our first? Let's see. As starter, small forward, I would like, or a point guard, Matras Harrell. Bogdan. Oh, I can I get something legit. Oh, Roko. Crap, why am I in such a bad position? Alright, what can I get for McConnell and Jackson? Please, just give me something good. Uh, Romeo Lankford. Damn it. Winslow. Oh, God. Jesus, I miss, I miss Jimmy Moore. Alright, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to trade Josh Jackson for Covington. Tim Wells will require 4K. Give me... God, I don't know who sucks for you. Give me, I don't know. Wow, you have to Rosen too. What was the original offer? Because I know they offered originally to give me Covington. I have to throw in what? Now you're not going to offer the deal. Oh, should I take Winslow? You know, I'm going to take Winslow. So, better defender Winslow, but Jackson's a good defender. Okay. So, I need offense on my bench. So, I need to look at offensive big man. I have nothing to trade. So, let me sign somebody. Mason Plumley, okay. What's the most I can give him? Six mil? Alright, let me sign him. And then I'm going to trade him for a better offensive center. AKA, I don't know. Uh, what can I move the cuddle for? I want to see if I can upgrade back in point guard too. Uh, Thomas Santoransky, that's I think an upgrade, but 2K doesn't think it is. Great. Zach Norvell Jr. McConnell has two and a half star trade value. What the hell? Okay, here's the backup center. I'm getting Vernon Carey Jr. So that's a nice young center. And then I'm going to move Mason probably for a backup point guard. Just please give me something good. Uh, of course, I'm just getting offered all power forwards. Okay. Okay. I hate this game sometimes. All right. So give me Josh Koji. I'm sick of giving up picks. And then I guess Jordan Clarkson, who was a point guard originally, can play point guard. Screw it. I'll see you guys at training camp. All right. So this is going to be the last year. Uh, this would be technically year four. Dubia honestly could enter the starting lineup. Maybe I should start Dubia over Winslow. What's that like for any carry? I don't care. This team is interesting. I hope it's good enough to win it all. Probably not, but... I, it's going to be really upsetting if we peaked in year one and won it all. I want to like hop in a game with Tobias Harris, but... So we have Simmons, Oladipo. Okay. Winslow can be the sixth man. Clarkson. Uh, we'll give 32 to Harris. 30, 41 bead. 33 there. 30. We'll go 35. Okay. Uh, 13 is good there. We'll go 18. All right. That's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. The is the number one team. Please, can we win it all? All right, Nick Nurse brought us back to 55 plus wins if we do beat Atlanta. Okay, we beat them by 33, so that's pretty pretty nice because oh, we lost to Orlando. Okay, well, you see we have a lot of L's. We go 56 and 26, and I don't know. I'm just, this is the last year, so I'm hoping we win it all so it's not just like year one was it because then I regret not playing in year one, but Nick Nurse gets coach of the year. Do we get anybody on the All-NBA team? No, we don't. Okay, but Old Depot is still one of the best defensive players in the NBA, and we don't have any rookies. So we are the one seed. So are the Clippers, so it looks like the uh, trade worked out for both teams. Who's on the Clippers? Kemba, Anthony Edwards, Damian Dotson. Let's go. Uh, Jalen Smith and Montrezl Harrell. That's a one seed. Interesting. Um, okay, so we are taking on the Cavs in round one. Sexton, Bear, Wiggins. What? Uh, you end up in Washington. So you trade it for, like, Otto Porter and Whiteside. It's actually a cool team. Uh... Stats-wise, player stats, 
Embiid leading score, Oladipo, Harris, geez, the stats have really dropped off for a lot of people, but oh well. Points per game, we're sitting at 7th allowed, we're probably number 1 again. First in point differential, alright, let's win it all. Game 1, or round 1, excuse me, against Cleveland, can we beat them? We're up 2-0, make that 3-0, there we go, and we go for the, nope, we can't sweep them, but we win in 5. Now we're taking on New York in the second round, who have Zion, Moody, Cantor, Knox, Josh Green or Jalen Green, Josh Green, yeah, not that good of a team. It's weird not seeing Chris Stops there anymore, but they're up 2-0, okay. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess we peaked in year number one by winning it all. I don't know how that team sweeps us. I don't know what happened to this team, but literally after, like, our second year, like, this team just dropped off, and I don't know why Embiid sucks now. Like, what happened to this? What happened to this season? Like, what changed? Um, Simmons, what changed from this season? Ever since the 2019-2020 season, things went downhill. I don't know what happened, but, yeah. That will be for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We won a title in year number one, so I guess it counts that I won a title. I'm just upset I didn't get to play in the game, but, yeah. That's going to be for the Tobias Harris rebuild. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of it, and I will be doing a post Tobias Clippers rebuild out tomorrow. Hawks win it all. Cool. Um, it's probably going to be, like, a Kawhi Leonard Clippers rebuild. I mean... I'm going to probably make sure the Raptors don't lose out of them so I can sign up with the Clippers. Because I feel like that's where the Clippers think they're going. So yeah, that'll be free. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Can we hit a thousand likes? And I'll, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, follow me on Twitter. Link in the description.